Hey guys, welcome or welcome back Majorettes. If you're new here, my name is Major J. Today we're going to be doing things a little differently today and we're going to be styling everyday looks from my closet. Let's jump into it. What is up everybody? Yes, you heard right in the intro. We're going to be styling looks from my closet for several reasons. I have gotten into the state of I have nothing to wear. Meanwhile, I have a closet full of clothes that some of them even have the tags on it. So I was like, you know what, Major, you really need to start working with what you got because these hauls, yeah, they run in your pockets, boo. They run in your pockets. So basically, I curated a couple different looks. Honestly, it to know me is to know that most of the time I am in a very very casual fit I may do something mm, I may put on something a little razzle dazzle just to spice things up but for the most part you're gonna catch me in flats you're gonna catch me in sneakers um you're gonna catch me in something comfy like I don't even wear jeans like that I wear them to work of course but jeans are usually not my everyday go-to unless it's something maybe nighttime a little dressy or whatever that is my style i'm very low key i feel like i've been getting in my head lately and probably straight away from styling videos if you guys have followed me on tiktok follow me on instagram you realize i haven't been posting as much as i used to because i felt like i was styling these outfits for coming up with outfits that weren't necessarily for me don't get me wrong they were cute people really liked them but it's not something I would actually wear in real life because I'm not a heels girl. I'm not a girly girl. Like, I'm just not that girl. So I was like, you know what? You need to bring it back, be yourself, and the people are gonna follow. That's it, that's all. So let's just jump into this first outfit. I'm just gonna add the accessories onto it now. Okay, so this is the type of look I would wear, honestly, pretty much anywhere. Because I'm wearing jeans, it's very comfy casual. This would be cute for a, a Sunday brunch or even just meeting up with friends at the mall. It's very low key. I went back and forth with the shoes. I don't know if you guys can see it so much, but we'll start from the top. So on top, I have these sunglasses that I got from Target. Uh, if you watched my last Target haul, they were in that video. Whatever I can still find a link to, I will put in the description box. If I can't find the exact item, I'll put something similar to it. So we're gonna do it like that. Okay, good. <laughs> so the glasses I got from Target on the last haul, love these aviators. Honestly, haven't even worn them yet, but I just love the pink color and I just like the shape of the glasses. I do wish, cause like, you know, a lot of my hardware right now is silver, that this was silver, but it really doesn't bother me too much cause it's giving like a rose gold because of the pink. And then on top of that, I have just a plain basic t-shirt this t-shirt I got from Target as well. It's part of their A New Day collection. It's just a rib solid tee. They have them all the time. I think they're like $8. That will be in my Target storefront as well. Honestly, I just realized this whole outfit is Target for the most part. I didn't even realize that, but here we are. <laughs> These jeans I got from the last Target haul, they are the Ava and Viv wide leg pants. They're still available. I have them in three colors because that's how much I love them. Um, I will say, I've been going back and forth with the length because they're not quite high waters, but they're not as long as I would necessarily like them to be, but it's not enough to like make me hate them. So these jeans I got in the light wash and the even Viv brand. Uh, this is in a size, I think I had went up a size in the lighter color. So this is in a size 22. If my sizing is incorrect with me saying this out to you guys, I will change the sizes in the description box so you know exactly what size I was wearing because sometimes I'd be saying one thing and then realizing oh crap that wasn't the size but the correct size will always be in the description box. The jacket is actually an old Target run. This is from the Black History collection from last year so I highly doubt it's well I know for a fact it's not available anymore but I really like this jacket. It's kind of like a spring jacket. I stepped outside for a second to take pictures and yeah it was kind of chilly so this outfit itself i would say for a warmer day maybe not when it's 20 degrees outside like right now my bag i went with my coach tabby 20. i bought this maybe in the beginning of winter like december-ish 
maybe even before that but this is like become one of my favorites like i literally wear this with a lot and i'm not even a silver girl like that but i really have been wearing the crap out of this which makes me feel good because i was a little weary on the price i felt like for the size of the bag it was a little pricey on top of that it's like you know coach is known for their leather but this bag is more is less leathery and just more metallically if that makes any sense but yeah as far as accessories so for the shoes i went with these really really old <laughs> michael kors loafers that i've had for um, i don't know probably a decade who knows um i have seen some similar ones in the sam edelman brand so i'll probably link those as well i think coach actually has a pair that i was eyeing because they're chunky they have like that lug sole so that's a good option as well another shoe that i was thinking of wearing with this outfit is just some plain white air force one or i had these pink and white mosquitoes that i thought would bring in the pink from the sunglasses so that was an option as well as far as jewelry i think we're all shein yep so i have this bracelet from shein this ring from shein i don't know if you guys can see it let me step up yeah so it's just like a m uh ring in silver i also have this in gold too and then i have these asymmetrical earrings like these cool funky earrings from shein like i said this look is pretty casual but still cute if you guys want to replicate this at home it's literally a white t-shirt and some jeans the statement piece here is the jacket like i said i always like to have an item on me that's kind of like the boom i'm here piece so the jacket is the boom i'm here obviously this jacket is not available but any bright color jacket would still give you that look any really cute jacket would do the same like you could do black too i feel like with white and denim you can go anywhere you want to go with it so yeah that's outfit number one all right guys so next up we have okay so this cardigan i was supposed to show y'all in the cider haul that i did last but i realized that i forgot to include that footage but anyway i got this top from cider i really really love it i love the print and how playful it is it kind of has like these cool etch-a-sketch dinosaurs like the green color i just thought it would be a cute little cardigan so i kept it underneath i just have a plain black tank top nothing special these jeans wide leg really really cute and trendy they have zippers and kind of like pockets i love these jeans they're definitely very playful definitely very edgy and that's what i love about them i got these from fashion nova i'm pretty sure these are in a size 3x fashion nova only goes up to a 3x if i'm not mistaken so yeah these are in a size 3x i will warn you guys though they cut very very low so like i usually wear a belt with it because as you can see the back it's literally like right on top of my butt so i kind of like that i put this cardigan with it because the cardigan covers that part up and you gotta worry about that so yeah i would definitely wear a belt with it i wouldn't do like a crazy belt i just do like a regular black belt as far as accessories so i'll start with the sunnies so i'm going in with my vintage diors i've had these for years i'm pretty sure you can find them on like poshmark for maybe a hundred bucks but they're just a simple cat eye with like a silver detail on top as well as on the side so i feel like yeah these are cute for just everyday wear for the bags okay so i could have went a couple different ways with the bag i decided to go with orange because again i told you i like something that pops so not the first bag you would naturally grab towards but i don't know i like it and it still goes together like that's the thing there's certain things that you wouldn't think goes together but it just kind of works so i could have went with this bag or i actually have this bag i have this bag in um silver and i have it in green so i could have did the green too but if anything i felt like the green was more clashing because it's not the same color green as any of these so i didn't care for the green i could have went with black could have even went with my silver tabby i feel like the silver tabby would have been playing it safe plays on the silver hardware that's on the pants as well as the silver and the sunglasses so i really feel like this was to me this was given more fashion so again a very comfy look as far as shoes I have on these platform pumas that I've had for a while. Um, they're very cute. They have like this metallic like snake skin to them and they do have specks of orange so they kind of go with the bag. <laughs> you can't see them though because my pants are so long. Nothing with these pants or to be honest with you with all of Fashion Nova pants I usually have to get them hemmed. Fashion Nova jeans are made for giants like for real. I don't know who can just wear this stuff without having it get 
having to get it hemmed. So keep that in mind when you're ordering things from Fashion Nova. Most likely you will have to get it shortened if you are not a tall girly. I am 5'5". Five five. Yeah, she's not there. I usually always wear some type of platform with these jeans because they would drag on the floor. I've been meaning to get them shortened. I don't mind just putting on a platform. I have plenty of platforms to choose from. So yeah, this is the look. She's cute. She's definitely giving like casual, edgy. I like these type of looks because I'm still on trend, but I'm also still dressing for my age, if that makes sense. Because I see a lot of these plus size girls that are like, in their 20s and you know they be having a lot of assets out me i can't do that <laughs> i can't do that so this is my way of still being on trend but dressing to my age my body whatever whatever you want to call it whatever i'm comfortable with and that's all that matters dress for what you're comfortable with okay let's move on so guys let me just preface this by saying I kind of just threw these looks together on the ground like that's usually how I do if I'm going on a trip I'll lay everything out on the floor so this is the first time I'm actually putting anything on me and you know I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back because it's all hits no misses baby so I think this is my most favorite outfit so far now this look ain't for everybody I'm gonna say that now it's not for everybody but for me this is the essence of major okay so let's start let's start okay so we have this jacket from pretty little things I got this in my last pretty little things haul it's a little oversized but I love that that's why I kept it I probably would you know kind of slouch it over the shoulder a little bit give you a little look underneath I paired it with the top that I got from Target this is part of their current Black History Month collection it's a unisex top so you can kind of do whatever so I got it I'm pretty sure this is in a size double XL the jacket is in a size 2x so yeah okay so then we have these jeans that i got from fashion nova last year i'll see if they still have them but they have like the cargo pockets on the side that i love they're very high waisted just to let you guys know but that's fine i like that because it kind of like hugs my stomach in i did shorten these a little bit because they were dragging on the floor so this is not the original hemline but you know it's cute for shoes I went with these Jeffrey Campbell um, slides that I have. They're kind of like a variation of those Gucci slides that used to have like the G's cut out of them. So these are kind of like the cheaper version of them. There's cheaper version of them even at Target. I don't know if they still have them. I don't know if I saw them this year, but I know they had them last year. Um, for bag, another bag from Shein. This is the green one. Just a pop of color to play off this, but that would be fun. And then I have my Lorve Sunnies that honestly just makes it look even more cooler and then I wanted something dramatic so I went with these big Shein hoops that obviously I got from Shein. I pulled my hair back so that one you could see the earrings and then I have this cute little scrunchie that I got from Target is giving like back in the day 90s vibe when your mama used to dress you in them bobos yeah that's what it's giving so like I said so far this is my favorite look as you can see I'm smiling okay not that I don't smile but yeah, I just feel like this is definitely like, I feel really cool in this outfit. <laughs> just make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button while you're watching. You know, if you are truly getting inspiration for this, I would love to have you as one of my majorettes. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, moving on. So I really need to start paying attention to whether I have my mic on or not, cause I done filled this whole part without sound. All right, take two, because the sound wasn't on on the first round. So let's do this again. Let's start from the bottom. So the pants I got from Pretty Little Things. These are pretty sure, I'm not sure of the sizes guys, so I'm just not going to say the sizes. So the pants are from Pretty Little Things. The top is from Fashion Nova. The jacket is also from Fashion Nova. So I actually love this jacket a lot. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. Um, it has a lot of patchwork detailing on it which makes it really really trend give you that cute little varsity look and then you have the crop top crop top look as well with like a touch of puffer jacket y'all know how i feel about my puffer jackets so there's a touch of puffer jacket as far as accessories from shoes i went with these new balance 2002 r's um, these are very comfortable. I got them from Bloomingdale's. New Balances have become really, really popular within the last couple of years. So 
it's kind of weird that we're wearing these like dad shoes now and that's like the trend but here we are <laughs> for the bag i went with this bag that i got from my last target haul the cute thing about this bag is you can actually wear it as a crossbody as well it does come with straps um the straps do have gold hardware on it though but of course you, you can take that out and switch it with something else so not a big deal i personally like wearing it as a top handle though i just think that's a lot cuter makes it look a little bit more sophisticated as far as jewelry i went in with silver jewelry that i got from shein so rings from shein oh wait no actually no these are from h&m i forgot so it's one of those h&m packs that you can get like a pack of like 10 or 12 all in the pack so yeah and then my necklace is also from h&m yeah i don't have any earrings on because you weren't really gonna see it with my hair so i didn't worry about it the sunglasses so the sunglasses i've had for a really long time i'm not even sure if she still makes these but these are one of my favorites these are called backtrack from desi the brand desi love 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 these sunglasses i'm pretty sure they come in a ton of different colors i just really wanted this like translucent nude color love it i have another pair of sunglasses by her that's in a similar color but it's a solid it's not so translucent but definitely definitely good quality less than a hundred dollars and yeah giving you all the looks so yeah this is a comfy look nothing too crazy it's like going to meet up with my friends for lunch or going to the mall or running errands like it's very chill and that's just my vibe we're gonna chill but we're gonna look cute while doing so okay let's go to next okay so next up we have this cute comfy outfit so the top is from cider i actually tried it on in my last haul my cider haul if you guys haven't checked out that video please go ahead and do so so this is in a size 2x it's actually navy and cream which i really like contrast i thought it would be cute for the summer especially in spring but honestly i can wear it now I don't 100% have a jacket that would go nicely with this. I was thinking I could probably throw on the leather jacket that I had previously. That would probably be the direction I go in. But definitely something on like the tan cream side of things. Unless I had navy, which I don't. These jeans I have, I got from Target about a week or two. I think I got them right after the haul that I did for Target. So when I had reordered the right sizes for those jeans, I saw that they came in a darker color. Although this was listed under the same like style, I guess, they're not the same as the ones from before. So the pockets on these are slanted, which honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I personally like this. I think because of the color of the denim, as well as like the, the hemline on it, it does make the jeans look a lot more fancier. So this would be cute with some heels if you wanted to take it out. Maybe even some espadrilles in the summer. So that's definitely a vibe. But you know me, I like to be comfy. So I paired it with these Rihanna Creepers that I've had for a couple of years now. Um, they're in maroon and they have laces that have like a gold tip to them. So that's why I decided to go with gold accessories. So I have my black and gold Brandon Blackwood bag that is in this like crop print and it has like a gold detailing. This strap doesn't come with the bag. I got this strap from Amazon. Well, let me rephrase that. So the strap right here comes with the bag. It's the same kind of crocodile black print, but I needed an extender because you know, yeah it was a fit <laughs> so i got these extenders from amazon and they match perfectly with the metal on here and it actually brings like a little cute detail to the bag that i really like so i paired that with that as far as sunglasses so i'm a big sunglasses girl <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed every single one of these outfits came with a sunglass to go with it because that's just me personally i've always loved wearing sunglasses like yes i was the girl in high school that used to be in class with my sunglasses on thinking that I was a superstar because baby i was on my way don't worry about it <laughs> so i went with these lord Vey sunglasses so these are in the style unbothered i also have these in it's a navy but the face is kind of like a yellow orange so i bought these again in the maroon color and honestly go perfectly with my sneakers yeah i love these sunglasses i think they add a nice like mysterious look to any outfit i love wearing it with all black i love wearing with tan like honestly it just it just chef's kiss it just makes the outfit pop so if i wanted to take it there and that's not necessarily because i feel like this outfit is kind of good where it's at but if i wanted to add a little bit more edge to it i probably would throw on a baseball cap 
don't know how much I love this one with it. I don't hate it. So the hat has a navy brim with like a tannish cream top and then the New York logo in white. I got this hat when I was in Houston. You probably can find it at any lids that you go to because yeah, they're all the same. But yeah, this is the finished look. But honestly, let me see if I like it with the hat. Let me look real quick. Okay, to be honest with you, I don't mind the hat. I do think it adds that like street look that I was looking for and that's kind of my vibe anyway. A lot of my looks, yes, they're super low key, but they all have like a little bit of edge to it. So yeah, so this is new for me. I probably haven't done a styling video on YouTube in quite a while. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this sort of video. I'm really trying to give you guys different content to look at and not necessarily always hauls. Fashion is something that I enjoy, not something that I think about too hard. So I do want to branch off into other things like beauty content or even just regular everyday vlogs. So I don't know how necessarily that will look with the lifestyle that I have, which is work home, work home. Like who wants to watch that? So we'll see what's in store. I'm not gonna stop doing hauls because you know, that's what I do. So hauls it will be, but I definitely wanna get a little bit more detail and a little bit more personable with you guys. I feel like y'all know me as Major the girl who tries on clothes and you know, I wanna connect with y'all a little bit more. So if you've made it to this point in the video, please, let me take my sunglasses off, I will zoom it. If you made it to this point in the video, please make sure you are subscribing to my channel, okay? Those numbers matter. Um, I also just remember that I never tell anyone to hit the like button. So yeah, likes are just as important as subscriptions. So please make sure you're hitting that like button, commenting if you see something that you like or something that you want to comment on. And I appreciate you guys for watching this far. So thank you guys. I will catch you on the next one. She see money all around me.